Welcome to African Dragons Media Channel. And this is Harry Steven Singano. The ancient pyramids of Egypt have been a subject of great controversy throughout human history, sparking debates about their origin, dating, and various other aspects related to them, as well as their supposed builders. In this video, I will specifically address the intriguing theme of giants who possibly inhabited the land of ancient Egypt, exploring the possibility of any contact between these beings and Egyptian civilization. I invite you to watch and share your opinions, leaving likes, comments, and spreading the word among those who share an interest in this fascinating topic and the history of Egypt. Thank you in advance for your support, and I hope you enjoy this content from the channel. Were the giants in Egypt, the builders of the pyramids? Undoubtedly, just like the Israelites and other peoples of the Middle East, such as the Canaanites, Sumerians, and Akkadians, the Egyptians also had contact with ancient giants. In the Egyptian context, as well as the Nubians to the north of Africa, there is evidence of a relationship with these imposing beings. Some theories suggest that the Egyptians' connection with ancient giants was so significant that it included a friendship that led to collaboration in the construction of the iconic pyramids. Many speculate that these giants, ranging in height from approximately 9 to 13 feet, played a crucial role in transporting and placing the immense blocks of stone used in the construction of the pyramids. The hypothesis gained strength with the discovery of the skeleton of Pharaoh Sonact, belonging to the Third Egyptian Dynasty. This Egyptian leader was nicknamed the Giant by the Egyptians, and although his stature was approximately 5 feet 11 inches, a recent article in Live Science, released on August 4th, highlights that he was 5 inches taller than the imposing Pharaoh Ramses II and 8 inches taller than the average height of men at that time. It is important to note that in today's context, many men reach this height, but at that time, they could be considered giants. These findings continue to fuel the debate about the possible presence and influence of giants in ancient Egyptian civilization. Throughout Egypt's history, numerous examples of exceptionally tall beings have been reported, excavated, and depicted in Egyptian art. Among these records, there are examples of giants, including mummified fingers, which have been kept away from public knowledge. Discoveries indicate sizes ranging from 7 to about 16 feet in height, approximately 4 meters and 80 centimeters. Thorough research of archaeological records, ancient texts, and analyses of hieroglyphs and Egyptian art has begun to shed light on this phenomenon of giants in ancient Egypt. Sarcophagi approximately 13 feet long were discovered, along with bones of remarkably large dimensions, often kept secret from the media. These archaeological finds, which include sarcophagi and bones of impressive size, are often so extraordinary that they end up being kept secret, but it is difficult to hide such discoveries. A peculiar example is the famous giant finger, measuring approximately 1.25 feet long, found mummified in Egyptian soil. Calculation indicates that this finger could only belong to a being over 13 feet tall. The entire Middle East region has deep legends, stories and mythologies about giant human beings, with heights ranging from approximately 10 to almost 16 feet. Alongside sacred references from the Bible, which include accounts such as Moses fleeing Egypt and facing attacks from different populations, tribes and races of giants, such as the fearsome Riphaim of Canaan, as well as the race of giants known as Anakin, among others of beings over approximately 10 feet tall, we come across the narrative of the giant Goliath. In the Old Testament, we also find the biblical story of Og, the king of Bashan, who was more than 13 feet tall and 6.5 feet wide. Numerous reports from newspapers and articles corroborate the reality of these giants and their races, with their enormous skeletons and bones unearthed in remarkable proportions in the biblical lands of the Middle East, Egypt, Africa, and other regions of the Middle East. Some theorists even suggest that a ruling elite in Egypt, possibly composed of prehistoric Egyptians, also known as Hamitic Egyptians or simply Hamitic Egyptians, were seen as superhuman. Although these rulers were not giants themselves, 
it is highly likely that they had contact with such giant beings, some of whom had elongated skulls, while others were considered almost spiritual, and some were described as true giants. An ancient legend suggests that the pyramids of Giza may have been erected by a race of giants, as shared during a lecture by Manly Palmer Hall, possibly recorded in the 1980s and released in a YouTube video, originally part of a lecture titled Atlantis and the Gods of Antiquity. In the lecture, it was reported that in the year 800 AD, during the glory days of Baghdad, the great sultan and descendant of the notable Araxide of the Thousand and One Nights, Sultan Araxide Almamun, decided to open the Great Pyramid. It was told to him that this monumental structure had been built by giants called Shadi, superhuman beings of imposing stature. Within the pyramids, they guarded not only a great treasure but also knowledge beyond human understanding. An interesting point mentioned in the lecture was how the constructions of ancient Egypt amaze modern builders due to the perfectly cut blocks, as if a laser had been used to sculpt them. These structures were also incredibly heavy, some weighing tons, raising the possibility that only giants could transport these blocks. In 832 AD, Al-Maman, the Arab, embarked on a journey to ancient Egypt and became the first to explore the Great Pyramid, which, at that time, was still enveloped in blocks of white limestone. As for the Shadi, the true identity of these beings is shrouded in mystery, possibly related to an Egyptian name like Shemsuhor, followers of Horus, or even should Ibn Ad, considered the king of the lost Arab city of Iram of the Pillars, mentioned in Surah 89 of the Quran and sometimes described as a giant. The most evident evidence of giant presence is found in the early archaeological expeditions in the region, revealing that the members of the Horus cult constituted a kind of elite that ruled Egypt. Graves located in northern Egypt, dating from times preceding the onset of the Pharaonic dynasties, had notably wide entrances, and the human remains discovered were considerably larger than the typical features of the native population. According to historians, the disparity was significant, though verifying the truth of these accounts in books and articles is challenging, as, if true, they could have been suppressed by the prevalence of biased archaeology. There are also other reports from around the world mentioning the presence of giants, but the evidence is present in our main source, the Bible. The ancient Arabic manuscript known as the Book of Wonders, dating approximately from 900 to 1100 AD, represents a compilation of medieval knowledge about ancient Egypt and the pre-Great Flood world. In it, it is mentioned that the people of Ads were giants, suggesting that Shaddad possibly was one of them. According to the text, Shaddad claims to have built the monuments of Dasher using stones carved in the time of his father, and another giant had started the construction at a later date. Furthermore, the manuscript highlights that another giant deposited secrets in the pyramids of Dasher and other pyramids to imitate what had already been done. The city of Dendera, founded in ancient times, consists of the Red Pyramid and the Bent Pyramid, both built during the reign of Pharaoh Snefru around 2600 BC. Dendera also features highly decorated pillars dedicated to the Egyptian goddess Hathor. Continuing the text, it is mentioned that the first king of Egypt, right after the flood, along with his companions, built monuments, erected tall towers, and performed marvelous works. The city of Memphis, in turn, was a later work carried out by a group of giants in the service of King Mizraim, notable for being the same term used in Hebrew and Aramaic for one of the sons of Ham, the father of African peoples. Interestingly, throughout the first millennium BC, giants began to disappear from Egyptian records. This can be attributed, in part, to the often tumultuous relationship between giants and ancient Egyptians, as giants sought worship or, on some occasions, attempted to dominate and destroy. Despite these interactions, accounts affirm that the great pyramids of ancient Egypt were indeed created with the assistance of ancient giants. I hope you enjoy this information. Leave your likes and comments on whether you believe in the presence of giants mentioned in the scriptures, also being in ancient Egypt. Stay with God, see you soon.